peekaboo. Hello. Uh, so, I would like to share probably the most important creative element that I have learned in my journey of opening the, the flowscape inside of me and developing my own form of mastery and connection to the language of creation. Um, and again, this is like an experience of developing, not claiming mastery, though I am the master, as you are. Anywho, foundational element is scene speak. And when I say scene speak, I mean essentially like creating projects. Um, tying the bow around an experience. And this, for a long time, this has been really difficult for me. Um, I would find that I would do a ton of writing and I would draw a lot and I would create a lot of different digital arts and, and, and play a lot of music. But I didn't like, I wasn't able, I wasn't ever able to like hold something that articulated what I was experiencing. Um, I never, it was really difficult for me to be like, yeah, that's actually my reflection or um, see anything that was building and developing. It was kind of like I was just having a bunch of these really profound and beautiful creative experiences, but I didn't really have anything to share of it. And even with like art that I created that was like a true articulation of a, a window to the experience, um, I, I didn't have, it didn't have a context that put it in place, for example. So I struggled with this for some time, um, not being able to like, Kind of find cohesion between these creative experiences and then a friend of mine really introduced me um, a friend of mine who was a professional like videographer photographer really introduced me to this idea of output um, and he came at it from a professional approach which is essentially like you know he's creating content to essentially build his repertoire and the showcase of who he is so that um, he's building a body of work and this body of work like the more he builds this and the more that he hones this and sharpens this blade um, the more maneuverability he has within the world of look this is what I can do I would love to collaborate with you and, and get connected with these different brands or musicians or just really cool opportunities creatively and until meeting him, I, I hadn't really thought of creation in the form of output. Um, another friend of mine who was really the, the introductory doorway to music production um, actually met or moved in with him right after meeting this other friend or like having a really deep experience with this other guy. And... His name is Neurotic or Bryce, and he really opened me up to the other friend's name is Oscar, and Bryce opened me up to this idea. He was he was really deep into this motion of creating scenes within music, and every day he would just create tracks. He would create tracks. He would create create tracks, and he just banged them out. It's just like one done, one done, one done. And I just saw him like, it was like he, he let go for a period of time. He just allowed himself to build quantity and he let go of the quality. And what happened is the quality uh, created itself within the quantity. Um, he became very efficient at creating and banging out these tracks and uh, their intricacies and their complexity uh, grew with each one because he was able to let go of like needing a track to be good or anything which a lot of them really were 
Um, but he he totally detached himself from the product mindset and he just focused on output he just focused upon filling a folder on his computer with a bunch of these finished tracks and so i essentially not long after tapped into the same process i started learning music production and i just tapped into the same process and what 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 i feel like i would have had a lot of difficulty with had I used my old method is there's a lot of different hang-ups that one can get into and get tied up in in the music production space and I was able to engage music production foundationally from a place of look here's a blank canvas I'm just gonna throw sound at it I don't care what it is I don't care about extracting the sound that I hear in my head right now I'm just gonna throw sound at it and see what happens and at the end of it, uh, at the end of the session, I'm going to tie the bow. I'm going to finish the track and I'm going to export it as like a wave file or an MP3 file. Um, and what this did was it like allowed all creative blockages to just fuck off. Um, I didn't need to be inspired. I didn't have to have any idea of what I was going to do when going into this creative experience. I was just able to go in and hurl sound at a, at a canvas. And it didn't matter how it sounded, just that there was sound. And the majority of these tracks were absolute horseshit because I was learning, right? And didn't know what I was fucking doing. But there were some that just totally surprised me. It was like, whoa, what the fuck is that? It's awesome. And, you know, out of a, in a bunch of this, in this giant folder of all of these exported wave files, audio files, I had a few that were like really dope um, that I resonated with. And I kind of pulled them aside and I curated them. And um, I essentially told myself, like, all right, I'm just going to, like, create at one point. I'm just going to create a track a night and upload it to the space. And after a while of doing that, I had a pretty cool folder of um, experiences, musical experiences that I actually resonated with that said something out of a, just a, a giant pile of horseshit, you know, it's just kind of like chaos naturally crystallizes in complexity. And as the horseshit just kind of built up upon itself, um, there was a lot of pressure at the bottom and all this pressure created heat. And then there were a few diamonds at the bottom and I just plucked out those diamonds, put them aside and um, I had a list I had, a, I had a folder of like six tracks that, that I fucked with and um, just released an EP of the, the first, like, I think it was like six months of the musical journey. Journey in production. So, in a similar way. So that's kind of like a microscopic way of looking at this idea of output when it comes to music. And I work with a lot of different creative mediums. I feel like they all come together. It's the same language breathes through all of them in unique ways and unique octaves that when woven together in a single story, um, allow for a totally new perspective to be spoken. And so my goal is, as a storyteller and as a multidimensional journalist, is to speak the experience, to share the journey as I go through it. And uh, to see the same pattern of creation within all the different mediums that I do. And so in the same way that I articulated this musical process, I also, um, especially for that first EP for Elevating Gray, I sat down every day and I just did a sketch. And this, the problem that I'd have, I had before Elevating Gray uh, was, and before this process was, I would just do a ton of different sketches and just have a journal of a lot of horseshit sketches and some cool stuff. And that was fine, 
Um, but what I wanted was a way to witness an octavizing creation and elevating an evolution. And so elevating gray was essentially the experience of when I tapped into this musical journey of I'm just going to create a track every night and tie the bow. I applied the same idea to the sketches. And so whatever I did, I would just tie a bow, meaning this wouldn't happen, which is just essentially where the nets break loose and I don't get out of scribbling. Um, this is what, I don't really, I don't like this. I don't, I hate this. And I hate this. This is just like trash, but it's, it's a part of me. And so elevating gray was really just like recognition that this is a part of me, that this is, and it's also a block. It's like where um, I'm creating, but I'm not saying anything and I'm not feeling it. And whatever it was, even if it was small, I would just tie the bow around it. So if I had just this giant, giant sludge fuck, um, I would look inside of it. And for elevating gray, I would say, okay, I see a triangle here. Or even, even a really small space, I would just fill it in with intricacy. I would make a portion of this clusterfuck look cool. Cool to a point where I could take a picture of it and cut out that section that was dope and then put it aside. And this, then I created a, a, a group of photos that were cutouts of my sketches that over the course of like these few months, I had some pretty cool cutouts and which is just a natural thing to happen when we tap into this every day experience um it's gonna be a lot of days that are shit and a lot of days just like something cool emerges and i feel like the process of saying all right i'm just gonna do this every day and finish it like tie a bow around something and give that put that something in the same space that space is an octave that space is a doorway that space is a key to an entirely new level of creation into a new anatomy so, at the end of this period, once I had these cool tracks, I decided to like pull all the different parts of the sketches together. And uh, essentially weave them on top of each other. And the weaving became really cool. It was like this dude stepping out of a horse. And it was just like so fucking crazy. Psychedelia, like absurdity uh, but it was really representative of the experience and the feeling of the whole journey and so is so is the music and so it felt really good to release that that art piece with that music it was like definitely the favorite thing that I'd released and it felt like one of the, like the first thing that I did like formally release of like this is something that has actually taken a long period of time uh, when you think about all the days that I've been kind of pouring in to create music for this experience and all the days that I've been drawing for this experience, um, there's a lot of time that was embedded and, and synthesized um, and crystallized. And it was a really big journey that I felt I did justice to in the creation of um, <clears throat> this release. And so it really felt like I was I was sharing something that was an evolution of my being. And in sharing that, I felt like a, uh, I mean, it's like an invitation for others to tap into that same space. It was true. It was authentic. And um, yeah, process of sympathetic resonation is like you put something out like that and the universe sings it back to you. So um, that's been really that, that idea of tying the bow around these projects and creating a space with a bunch of finished pieces um, and embracing the shitty pieces, just as letting go of what the product is and just like focusing on the act of showing up, knowing that something will come from it. And at the end of this period of time, something will be alive. And I feel like at the, you know, like there's so many, 
particularly in, in engaging the I'm going to do this every day space and mentality, um, we confront everything about ourselves, it feels like. It's like there's there's it's like showing up every day to greet the same space. Um, something happens where the space by default becomes a reflection. And when it's looked at upon like, a, like as, a, as a diary, that's crystallizing. Um, we just like undoubtedly see ourselves, see our shit, see, see the beauty, like the whole picture is like represented in this collapsed experience of infinity, which is every day we arrive to greet the space. We have no idea what's going to happen, but it's going to happen within this medium, collapsing infinity. And when we do that over and over, we gain a rhythm and that rhythm gives birth to a room, a melody, a line, and harmony. Um, so yeah, tying the bow around creation and entering the everyday experience of the same form of creation. And right now, I'm in a different space, and I really love giving myself the freedom to uh, create in unique ways, meaning... I like the versatility of medium. Um, I've found it really beneficial to focus on one medium. I don't know if that's true. I found it really beneficial to, to choose and say, this is what I'm going to do for this amount of time and just show up. And it doesn't mean that I can't do the other things. It's just like, I don't care what, like for the musical space, it was like, I don't care what I do, just that I put sound and tie the bow, put sound on the canvas. And one day that literally meant, and I was like in bed and I was just like, fuck, I haven't created any sound yet. And I was just like, all right, dragged myself out of bed, woke up, opened the computer and uh, just literally dragged and dropped a bunch, a rain sample <laughs> onto uh, like a, Ableton like selection or template and just tied the bow and threw it, threw it in the in the folder which is like the least amount of effort it was like literally drag and drop okay I'm done I did it and I did it and that is the most like those are the most important days to show up to arrive to arise are the days where like the previous you wouldn't. And that's that's the space of the evolution. Um, and right now I'm in the process of, of a 100-day journey. Um, and this 100-day journey, this 100-day evolution is, uh, rather than focusing upon a musical space, focusing on a website. And focusing on it from a musical perspective, meaning every day, it's kind of like a two-fold agreement with myself of like every day I'm going to experience the music, whether that be acoustically or through production, um, I'm going to experience the music. And every day I'm going to upload something to the site. And that something is the tied bow. And the music is the experience. And I've actually let go of the correlation between the two, which is kind of intriguing and may seem counterintuitive to what I've said before, um, but it feels right. And what it allows for me to do, it's, and I didn't know this at the time, but it's created space for me to A, develop as a creator by experiencing the music, and then B, when uploading, like I don't feel like I need to upload music every day because it's not like every day I'm going like all out into the music and recording something that I'm just like, this should be on the site. Um, but every day I'm able to actually now like have the musical experience, dive into it, and also go back into things that I've created in the past and do justice to them by calling them from the dead, essentially from this like shipwreck of writing and artwork that I have 
and bring it into a space where it lives together and then witness a, a story emerging between these different pieces. So I'm kind of like doing doing justice to um, a younger part of me that didn't have this method and modality um, who is now benefiting from it. Um, and so I'm like 35 days into this journey and fucking elated for what's coming through. Um, definitely like totally new evolution just last night. I like, it was like one of, it was like the first time that I finally like had created and experienced and laid out a narrative that weaves between um, a lot of different elements of the journey and is a huge ascension stone. Um, so I'm really stoked on how that is all progressing. Um, yeah, so I hope some of this helps you in whatever way that it can. But yeah, foundational element, tie the bow. Throw it away. Um, Mama dia fuar mangkhe ash pato to che 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 ambwa ya namar